Hi, this is Mari and this is my blog. And yes, I am in a different location. This is the BBC News. Had to say that because I look official. I feel official. Uh, not that official, obviously. Um, so today I wanted to talk about the feeling of not being grounded and then how I am now feeling a lot more grounded. Um, now listen, about a year and a half ago, I was feeling very untethered and was sort of having crisis is far too strong of a word. It was much more an idea of, am I on the right path? You know, am I spending my days as I should be spending my days? You know, darling, because it comes to a point that you want to make sure that you are living the life you should be living, that you're not burrowing away in the wrong field or hacking down trees in the wrong forest or whatnot. And um, so I saw a couple of TED Talks, you know, those, those great TED Talks, and with a few nurses, you know, people that see people as they're dying, and they kept saying that one of the main things that people bang on about as they're dying is that they have a lot of regrets. And I didn't want to do that, you know, I don't want to be on my deathbed with regrets, and I want to be very cognizant of how I'm living my life to the fullest with my days. So that I will not be, you know, passing out one, but still beautiful, hopefully, on my deathbed, saying the same things that these people were. And so I read about this guy, right, and he was uh, older than me. Um, well, I don't know why that's significant, but he was. And he had worked out how many days he would have left to live, right, if he lived until his life expectancy in the country. And let me tell you, that was sobering, because it was only something like nine and a half thousand days, which really struck me because I sort of felt like I have thousands of days, millions of days until, you know, my last breath. And I, so I, I, I basically, I worked out how many days I would have left to live if I lived to be a hundred, because I'm an optimist, darling, why not? Anyway, lots of us are living at least a hundred nowadays. And so my friend and I, my friend Johanna, who's in Sweden, Sweden's quite lucky because they've got quite a high life expectancy. I mean, not as good as 100, but still pretty good. And she and I decided to do this together. So we formed something called the Bead Movement. Now we both worked out how many days we'd have left to live, me to 100, her to Sweden's life expectancy. And we went down downtown Los Angeles and we bought that number of beads. And let me tell you, finding 19,900 beads is no mean feat. It took me weeks to count them out because I had to measure per yard and count how many beads are in each yard. Uh, but I did it, even though I'm no mathematician. I managed to pull that off. And then I found a jar and I put them all in the jar. And last August the 1st was the first morning that I took a bead out of this jar and I put it in this jar here marking my day basically and that was a really in fact I filmed that because I'm putting that bead in this jar and I was thinking what is going to happen between me now with my first bead and me at some point in the future with my last bead you know what adventures will have happened which country will I be living in when I'm putting my last bead in you know obviously it could be next week so I could sitting in the same place but um you don't know and it was really was moving and so every single morning I do yoga and then I take think of an intention for the day and I put that beat I take a bead out and I put it in this jar and it is so grounding it so fundamentally changed my life because I also thought about the principles and the way that I wanted to live and each morning it reminds me of that so that no matter what sort of frenzy happens in the day, and I tell, you know, with Holly and I putting the show on, there's a lot of unknowns, and there's a lot of, um, you know, well, basically unknowns. So that can cause anxiety, and uh, this just helps to really ground me and root me back with my heart and with my intention for the morning. So if you want to know more about this, let me know, because uh, if you have any questions or anything, I also, there's a website, thebeadmovement.com, I'll put it in the thing below, That because uh, I blog about the beads every week with Johanna, and it has made me a lot less stressed, I feel like I'm living my life along my own principles, so that no matter what happens, what circumstances, they don't dictate how I'm living my life, that's up to me, and I can control that actually, that's actually the only thing I can do. And so, it's, yeah, it's been a great thing for me in my life. Anyway, tell me what you think and what you do to maybe ground yourself. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and um, subscribe to the channel for weekly vlogs. Thanks very much. Let's start the conversation.